Welcome to this exciting episode where I make some carbon fiber head like holders while I wait for my wheel spaces to arrive. So, you join me on this sunny Sunday where I try to do an intro video. I made loads of videos of what I'm doing this episode and then managed to delete half of them, so it's a bit out of sequence. And if you see bits being made for that side, which suddenly swapped to that side, then swapped to that side, that's because I deleted the files. But hopefully, you can follow along. The plan is to make a tray for the headlights to sit on. So, it's going to fit to those three bolts and brackets then cut down in front of the radiator and there'll be a lower tray where the headlights themselves will actually sit. Then obviously do it for the other side. The template is skillfully made out of MDF and gaffer tape. It needs that lower shaft which will come out uh, to mount the headlights on it. And the, on the inside I've used hot glue rather than gaffer tape because that's the side the mould's actually going to be taken from. And just a few moments later. Pop the front wing back over the top just to make sure it all fits. Looking good. Let's take to the garage and do something with this. I covered it with mylar and green tape. This was a mistake, but hey, we live and learn. I cut the carbon and the reinforcement for the mould, then did a simple wet layer and left it overnight. Sneaking down before I finish my first coffee. Yes, I must be keen. Uh, yeah, going to try and pop this out now. Don't worry if you don't follow the details. This is rubbish. I've done it all wrong. I do have a clip later where I show me doing it properly. Here I'm struggling because I didn't use any release agent. That mylar was a bad idea. Uh, and basically, I just cocked up. I should have used a uh, peel ply as well, but hey, live and learn, live and learn. It does get better. Anyway, it's out of the mold now. Uh, obviously, the edges all need trimming. It's a bit wobbly because I didn't bother using any vacuum to suck it down. Didn't use any peel ply to give it a nice surface, but it's good enough. It's stiff enough. It will do what's needed. And here it is in the car. So now I just need to flip it out the mould over, do the other side, but better. I basically use the same mould as last time, but put the top on the bottom, the left or the right, etc. Make sure it's symmetrically opposite. Uh, then I use silver foil. This was a really good idea. Binky is cheap stuff. It sticks really well to the MDF and nothing sticks to it. Use the reinforcement material to cut the template. It means you faff around with something which stays together. If you do it with carbon, it'll all just fall apart. Once you've got that happy, you can then cut the carbon to match that, plus a little bit extra. This time I do use release agent, it makes a difference. Uh, you could use wax, but I've got this and it works. Two coats of this and stuff pops out of the mould. Now I mix up the resin, add fast hardener. I could use slow, but I'm kind of used to it, so I'm okay. Uh, paint it onto the mould so that the carbon's going to stick to, put the stick carbon down. Be careful when you're positioning it so you don't warp the threads too much and push it into the corners with your paintbrush so that it's all nicely shaped at 90 degrees. Add the next layer, add more resin, blah, 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 and you end up with a fully molded piece. Once it's all rolling flat, you can add the peel ply, important that, and then you can stick inside a vacuum bag. It's not a proper vacuum bag, it's a range cheapo shit thing, but it at least compresses the fiber down and then you can leave it to dry. Take it out of the bag. Pull the peel ply off it, just bust the edges of the uh, angle grinder to get some hope. Now I'm going to try and pop it with the wedges, just hoping. Slide the wedges in between the mould and the cum fibre, just keep tapping them in. You'll feel it kind of moving off the mould and then it just pops out nicely. That release agent or wax, if you want to use that, makes a real difference here. It's really worth spending some time doing that. I didn't trim all the edges because I wanted to try it on the car and make sure I got the right cuts in the right places. So here's me trial fitting it. And there, after a couple of little trims, we have it. These little bolt holes, and need to work out what to do about that to firm that up for a bracket. But we're in pretty good shape. Now we've got the basic mounting brackets for the headlights. I need to make the uprights that the headlights will be fixed into. So, yet again, make another mould, line it with foil, lay it up, all the good stuff we've seen already. Once you're done one side, reverse and do the other. So there's a new piece carefully cut to size. I thought I'd point this out for you guys to make you laugh. When I made the first one of those, I used that mould. Obviously, to make the mirror image, I cut the mould up, reversed it, and made the mirror image. When I made this one, the first one of these, I used that mould. When I made the second one, 
I forgot to reverse the fucking mold. That does not look so clever there. After correcting that little cock up, I fit them on the car and they look lovely. I've just heard the delivery man deliver my wheel spacers, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Those will get bonded once I've made the wings, which I can now do because I've got the spacers. So join us next episode where we make some more progress.